right click on the front view and then you go into the front view portion here okay front view point now right now we are going to create things that are section it's going to be cut on plan view so therefore you do not use your plan view anymore you don't use your top view you use your elevational view so that you can create a camera that will cut okay on the plan view huh? so similarly go to create go to camera go to target again and create another camera like that using the front view front view thanks then next thing what i want you guys to do uh, straighten the camera for me straighten it how to do this again select the camera copy the coordinates copy the x coordinates copy select the target double click on it okay double click on the x coordinates right click paste enter that's how you straighten the camera then you select the camera and name it go to modify rename it and call it plan camera enter all right with this with this i want you to press the c select the top right hand corner viewport press the c key and select the plan camera if you don't know how to do this inside the viewport here let me mod magnify this so you can see this huh? under the right hand top right hand viewport you click on the camera click on the word plan camera here right and then you can click camera and it is here you can look for plan camera too okay you can change your camera views by doing this using this method as well all right viewport top left hand corner and then you can look for this okay you can change the camera views here as well now if you notice and select the plan the camera and the target at this point in plan view if i were to move these two things around you notice we start doing this or not at this point you first of all need to select the camera and the target if you cannot click on the line uh, there's another method to do this you can hold the hold the control key click on the camera click on the target you can do so also notice now in plan view if you move this around in top view you now see that the there is a sectional view of this plan this top view being selected this way like that okay now doesn't matter uh, does not matter if you don't have the camera clipping planes on i will revise again how this is done if you if yours is not switched on it's going to look something like this so when you move around now though when you move around it's going to look like that you can't quite see anything happening all right never mind just approximate i can show i can give you the coordinates but i will not uh, for this so just move it somewhere here will do plan view wise uh, move it somewhere here okay you must make sure you select the camera and the target if you only select the camera and move you're going to distort the whole setting here is an example of what happens if i just select the camera and then i start i start moving i'm going to mess up everything like that you see this is what happening on my screen and
this is what's going to happen. Marvin, pay attention. Huh? Look at it. I'm going to mess up everything if I only select the camera, but I didn't select the target. All right. But if I select both things at the same time and I move, you notice that they move in sync. All right. Things don't get messed up. That is why you pay attention to both things. So I'm going to just pu push it, put it roughly here. I am just going to put it roughly down here. Okay, this is the this is the project. So I'm just going to put the camera roughly here. We'll do it for now. Next thing is you select the camera, go to modify, and then activate again. Activate the clipping planes. Don't get confused. Huh? It's easy to get confused with the environment ranges. Do not be confused. Read. You must read. Read the. Make sure you are looking at clipping planes. Clip manually. And then you make sure the far clip exceeds the project. Make sure the far clip exceeds the project. Make sure then the. Make sure the. The near clip is somewhere in between the the TV and the bit head. Okay, the picture and the bit head. If you want to get this guy really, really precise, huh? if you want to get it really precise, you can simply model a box in the top view. Look at what I'm doing right now. Huh? I'm using the create command to create a box. And then I change it to one meter by one meter by one meter height. And right now, if you look at the front view, you will get the one meter box down here. And then if I select the camera now, I can use the one meter box as a reference to know, okay, I need to cut the plan at one meter so I can adjust this very, very precisely. So I can get the one meter I need roughly from there. All right. If I want to do this, I can keep increasing the number. So I can get very close to cutting the plan this way. You notice now I can more or less see the plan when I render this. When I do a render, I should see a perspective view of the plan. Can see or not? It's now chopping this thing up and then it renders. When the rendering is complete, now, do you notice that the plan view looks converging? So it almost looks like it's a perspective view looking from the top down. Something is not quite right. Okay, let's deal with this. Let's select the camera before we go into the modification. Now, under the parameters header, there is an option here called Autographic Projection. Activate it. What happens? Do you notice that the whole perspective now gets flattened out? Can you shift Q again to re-render this one more time and take a good hard look whether right now we have the plan rendered or not? The button is down here where my mouse is. Do you see where my mouse is now? Activate the autographic projection mode. It will compress the perspective away. Now that you know how to create a plan, do you know how to create a section if I make you? Okay, here's what I want you guys to do. Huh? After you're done with this, you will render this view and then you will save this view and call it O3 Plan Camera. Okay. 
plan camera save it 